Hey there, tech enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a showdown between two popular JavaScript frameworks, Next.js and Next.js. These are two similar sounding front-end frameworks that give developers the tools they need to build modern web applications. But how do they compare? On one hand, we have Next.js, a powerful, intuitive view framework that presets all the configurations needed for building production-ready view applications. With Next.js, developers can bundle JavaScript, HTML, and CSS together on the client side, which saves time and avoids the need for multiple files. Additionally, Next.js uses Vuix to manage application state and custom SSR hooks for pre-rendering pages on the server. This makes it easier for developers to create high-quality, interactive applications without worrying about complex code base management. On the other hand, there is Next.js, a React framework created by Versal used for building server-side rendered and or static web applications. Next.js comes packaged with Node.js and takes care of the server-side rendering for your React applications, making it easy to add a custom look and feel to your applications. Apart from their names being similar, these two frameworks also share some common features that make them a preferred option for building production-ready applications. So how are Next.js and Next.js similar? They are both used in building server-side rendered and or static web applications. They both have built-in TypeScript support. They're both easy to set up and need zero configuration on the initial build. They both produce SEO-friendly applications. They both handle automatic code splitting really well. They both support dynamic routing. They both have great documentation and an active community. They both possess full-stack capabilities where you can run server API code from within the application. Now let's consider the differences between these technologies. Next.js uses Webpack for its assets bundling, while Next.js supports both Webpack and Vite. However, Vite does not currently have support for Next.js, and the Next.js team have no future plans to support it at this moment. Both Next.js and Next.js offer strong TypeScript support. Next.js takes a minimalistic approach like React, utilizing native language features for concise TypeScript configuration. In contrast, Next.js, similar to Vue, prioritizes developer friendliness through framework level compilers for TypeScript setup. Imagine never needing an import statement again. In Next.js, framework elements like built-in composables and components are globally accessible without imports. Additionally, your custom components and composables are automatically accessible across all pages. In contrast, Next.js doesn't offer automatic imports. Every component, library, or hook in your app requires manual importing. Next offers modules that seamlessly integrate new technologies into websites, enabling swift development and shorter time to market for enterprises. In contrast, Next.js lacks such modules, relying instead on external libraries built atop React for development support. Next.js benefits from the strong support and commercialization efforts of the Next.js team and Versal. Versal is a dedicated platform by the developers of Next.js for hosting websites, which naturally integrates well with Next ecosystem and is well-funded. Next.js faces challenges in commercialization and dedicated support. Unlike Next.js, which benefits from Versal's backing, Next.js struggles to establish a reliable commercial entity to drive its growth and provide comprehensive hosting and deployment solutions. At this time, Next is nine times more popular than Next. While Next.js spearheads the charge with its robust feature set and commercialization efforts through Versal, Next.js continues to evolve, leveraging the power of the Vue.js ecosystem. Both frameworks empower developers to build exceptional web applications, and choosing between them depends on specific project requirements and familiarity with React or Vue.js. As Next.js continues to thrive, Next.js is making strides to close the gap, ensuring developers have many options. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out our other tech-related content. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks again for watching.